Right, morning, it's Wednesday morning. We're going to uh, start to do the backgrounding on the uh, on the leather panels this morning. So uh, bear with me and we'll have a look see. Now you'll be able to see the area that will start on the center pin, the center, center panel. It'll be the, the background that I'm trying to sort out. So originally the background, this black background here, was all pitch. It's, it's a pitched substance, very much similar to the stuff that used to be on the roof. And what we've got to do, if you look closely, there's lots and lots and lots of little nicks in it that, uh, hang on, there we go. If you look closely at the background, you can see in here loads of little tiny nicks. And what we've got to try and do is get rid of these um, here. I'll be able to show you now. Oh, there it is. All these little nicks inside here where the background has picked off and, and disappeared. We've got to try and reinstate, but in such a way that you're not going to detract from the pitch and what the substance is. So what I'm going to try and use is a new substance which is similar to pitch, still flexible, it has to be flexible, similar to a PU um, type of uh, paint for want of a word, which is a bit of a simple term for it. But we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. The solution in here, we'll apply it with a brush, then you're literally, you're just filling, try and keep away from the edges so you're not going to detract from the uh, from the, the the gilding work that's going to need to be done. Literally, this is all you've got to do in here. You're covering all these little nicks up so that you have a complete background. Um, and once the gilding goes on, it's you know it's got to be done because if there's going to be any overrun on it, we don't want that to cover the gilding. So this has to be done first. But we keep, we're getting there slowly but surely. It's just going to be a long, long-winded job, this one, so I won't uh, bore you with it. But that's what's going to have to be done with it. You can see how it goes on. It's a flexible. It doesn't completely cover the nicks, but what it does is it just stops it from um, allowing anything into the leather to deteriorate. All right, well, you saw me doing the background in the other day, so now what I've started, I've done all the background, um, in a PU paint, which will uh, it, it, it matches in quite well. Now we've started with the gilding. You can see here where the new gilding is to compare to where the old gilding is. I know it looks a lot brighter at the moment, um, but we will burnish it down. Um, you can see the difference between uh, the two colours here. One's far yellower, one's far brighter. Again, but it will burnish it down. All I have to do now is. Uh, I'll show you slowly, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. We've got to gently go around all these with a new gilding. It's a, a special gilding that allows you to brush on, but also doesn't hide all the cracks, all the imperfections in the leather. It's quite, I, I, I mixed it, remixed it again um, with a glaze that will give you um, a crackled effect, which is an old look effect, rather than uh, rather than a brand new. You know, it, it, it keeps all the imperfections as well as a new covering. It's just going to take a lot of time. You can see how much time it's taking. So it's going to be a couple of days doing this. But uh, you can see just how much you've got to put on and all the edges. Good job you've got patience. Patience is a handy factor in this job. But uh, steady hand comes in, but it all depends what I've been doing the night before as to whether it's steady or not. A lot of it is going to be, you're going to have to, you know, impart your impressions of what the embossing was because a lot of it is non-existent anymore. So anyway, it's going to be a long, long while, so I'll, I'll talk to you later. Right, back again. Um, here we are. You can see I've just about finished that panel. You can see I've got a little bit left there now. 
I'm cold. I'm stiff having to lean over the table. It's taken me the better part of seven and a half hours to do one panel. So, to tell you the honest truth, I'm going to pack up, I'm going to have a nice hot cup of tea, and I'm going to wait again until tomorrow and see if I can steer myself to do the next one. Okay? I hope you enjoy it.